Hey, it's Kylie from Pan Wing. Today I'm be demonstrating how to paint a raven with watercolors. For this painting, I'm be using four main colors: Payne's Gray, Amethyst Genuine, Prussian Blue, and Burnt Umber. I'm going to begin by applying a light layer of Payne's Gray onto the beak of the raven. After this paint dries, I'm going to go back in with a second layer of Payne's Gray. I will be using a much more saturated amount of paint. As I paint this area, you'll notice me apply paint and then go back with a different brush that is clean and blend out the area I just applied. Now I'm going to move on to adding a light layer of burnt umber to the eye. Now I'm going to be adding a few more details to the beak. I'm going to be using Payne's Gray again, also going back and forth between the two brushes. One is a 0 over 3 round brush and the other is a number 3.
Now that I've painted the beak, I'm going to be moving on to the washy body of the raven. I'm going to begin by using purple paint. Now I'm going to add some clean water to this area. And then add more of the purple paint using a larger round brush. Here I'm going to add some feather details. I'm using a small round brush in the Payne's Gray paint, trying to stay in control. Now I'll be adding just a little bit of blue paint. I'm just going to let the paints mix in the wash. Here I'm adding just a little extra purple. In order to help the paints mix, I'm going to be adding some clean water to the piece. A couple extra dabbles of gray, blue, and purple paint, and then I'm going to add some table salt to the area, then let it dry. Now I'm going to move on to the rest of the body. Now I'm going to mix the gray and purple paint together, making sure it's really saturated, and then I'm going to blend it in with the water that's on the stomach. Here's an extra dab of blue paint. While the paint is still wet, I'm going to be using a small round brush to create some detail feathers. Here I'm splashing clean water onto the paint in order to create texture. And an extra sprinkle of salt before it dries. Now I'll be moving on to the wing. After applying water to the area, I'm going to be using my brush to create bold brush strokes as feathers. And then I'm going to blend it using some water. And a few more feathers. Here I'm going to splash some paint onto the piece. To complete the wash, I'm just going to add some extra colors. It doesn't need to be super thought out, just sort of randomly adding purple and blue paint to the area. In order to darken the wash, I'm going to add some Payne's Gray to it. And now some more blue.
a few splashes of purple, and then some salt. That wasn't quite enough texture for me, so I'm going to actually splash some more water onto the piece. This will help create intentional blooms. For additional contrast, I'm going to go in with gray around the neck and the wing. Now I'm going to finish up the eye using my smallest round brush dipped in Payne's Gray. And make sure to leave a highlight. After everything is dry, I'm going to be adding some detail feathers. If you like how the raven looks, you do not need to add this part, but I think it's fun to add the details with the abstraction. For this part, I'll be using a wet on dry technique. This will help me stay in control while painting. And this is the final result of the raven. Thank you so much for watching as I paint this. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider following me on Instagram at painted underscore wing or even supporting my Patreon. Starting next month, I'll also have additional lessons on my Patreon account.